What's going on, guys? Check it out, man. Uh, the man stole it himself, too. Of course, you saw him on my show before. The switch is up. It's on. Yeah, you're good. Good to go. Uh, the uh, the man, I guess, behind the game, co-founder, founder, founder Adam Presley. What's the official, official title of your fancy pants? Uh, official? I guess uh, co-founder and CEO, but the reality is it's uh, a team effort. My co-founder, Dennis, is uh, equally involved. He just doesn't put his face out in front of the camera very often, but uh, uh, it's a team effort. Uh, we've got a great team here, a whole bunch of the assembled tonight. I think even your dad's here, is he not? He is. Uh, if you can find the one hippie out in the crowd, uh, not on the back screen, but you see a guy with long hair, that is my dad. Nice. Well, you met my parents at the season three finale. I think they were up there crashing the barbecue. Uh, so good, I ambushed them while they were in It's almost like I planned it that way. Um, but yeah, you guys have obviously been supporters of Expert Joints uh, since we uh, got you on the show uh, a couple months ago. We had there, and of course, you came up the finale, so thanks for that. And of course, thanks for having me here to the new place, man. Nice day. Thank you. Uh, thanks for being here. Honestly, uh, this journey is. Standing out in that room right now is extremely humbling, and having you here, um, being part of the community in Vancouver, being part of the community now worldwide is, is, is I was going to say, it probably you probably didn't really expect this necessarily when you got started. But my dad just asked me, like, could you imagine all of this? And uh, I mean, I can say that obviously we had dreams that it would be this, um, but until you experience it, well, you got questions now from these people. So these are the people who play your game, and you and your man Dennis who put it together. So questions right from Hefferer Hongito, LMVP. Nice with the name. I know that that's a diehard player. I have seen that name quite a bit. I love He's it. one of our moderators. Uh, <laughs> what was the innovation to think uh, of this awesome game? What was the spark in your brain? And seeing the spark in your brain. Um, spark in the brain. Uh, well, spark is probably a good starting point. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, the reality is, um, I had been running another business that I won't get into for 10 years. Uh, yeah, it paid well. I lost passion. I didn't feel like I was doing anything meaningful. Um, and my partner and myself got together and just started thinking about how can we merge our passion for the cannabis community. Um, how can we get in tech and uh, building mobile games seem like the easy? Uh, right fit. Hey, I thought, <laughs> like I said, I thought doing the show would be an easy way to get video content every week. <laughs> yeah. Uh, thank God no one told us how hard it was going to be. Uh, Emperor MFM the Gas Man, did your inspiration for the game stem from your own wheat growing antics? Uh, okay, so, uh, the next question. short answer Never. is no, no, uh, no, it doesn't stem from my weed growing antics. My lawyer says no. <laughs> uh, no, honestly, I, I grew up in the cannabis industry uh, my whole life. Uh, we're here in British Columbia, which is, I mean, obviously, BC, but exactly. Um, now that it's gone towards medical, I do hold a medical growing license. Unfortunately, we're running a little straighter. Yeah. Straight like this. Well, a little this. more. You're doing this a bit much. Okay, okay. waving it. Um, so yeah, going back to um, BC, I do I do have a medical license to grow. Unfortunately, running this whole show in the background is there's no time. Um, but as all of our Canadians know, we are legalizing recreational, and I can't wait to start digging in my garden. Right? Four plants, we'll all be able to have it as long as no one can see it. But that's a whole other conversation. And you can see more. A uh, Emperor Jojo wants to know, who counted him, who co-founded Empire with you? Are they involved with the game? How much risk did you perceive when you decided to take the idea and make it happen? So you said Dennis. Is obviously Dennis. So Dennis, uh, what's his last name? Dennis. Dennis. Just Dennis. Hey, yeah, just to Dennis. Uh, Dennis and myself are equally involved. Uh, we do to totally different aspects of the business. We've both been involved since day one. This has been a three-year journey, um, and honestly, it's like yin and yang. We're <coughs> different people that we couldn't have done without each other. Uh, what was the second part of that? Uh, how much risk did you perceive when you decided to take the idea and make it happen? I mean, I don't uh, think you really expected maybe where it's gone as quickly as it's gone, but do you think uh, it was going to be like? Ooh. I'm extremely optimistic. I'm a positive person, and uh, you know what? This was a huge financial risk, but honestly, it was backed by friends and family, and we couldn't have done it without them. And uh, thank God. Successful. Uh, Emperor Majestic Rose, before Empire launched, did you have any idea how popular you thought the game would be? Like, has it exceeded your expectations? Yeah, I mean, obviously, again, we had dreams that this thing was going to be huge. Uh, we saw what other people could do, and, and we thought, you know, we could have millions of players, but it's one thing to think about it. Um, today, it's a reality. I think we're over 6 million installs, and uh, again, 
thinking something and then experiencing it are two very different things. And just looking in the room and walking around here and seeing the friends, the family, the, the employees, uh, it's humbling. Hearing from you guys writing these questions is humbling. Um, and just today, for example, we had uh, a couple players that are now together in a relationship thanks to Empire. Hey. So if we can somehow create a wedding out of that, hey. uh, that's official. Yeah, yeah. 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 Not even our first couple. <laughs> so, um, uh, blowing my expectations. Uh, Tabitha Louise says, I read somewhere uh, about Empire supporting the effort to legalize. Are you involved with the protests, rallies, demonstrations, or what are you guys doing to help out? Yeah, absolutely. That's uh, an easy question. Uh, we are completely in support of anyone that's moving forward legalization in a positive way. Um, for us, we're based here in BC. We are sponsors of the 420 um, rally. It's obviously one of the biggest rallies and one of the oldest. And uh, if there's anything we can do internationally, we're always available to help. So reach out. And that includes working with uh, people like yourself, Craig. They are uh, out there doing positive things for the community. Well, I got a show you can sponsor anytime you want. I'm happy to have you on board. I'll make sure I send you a media kit before the show is over. <laughs> uh, no, that's great. Uh, <laughs> Hey, never stop hustling. These guys who know who watch anybody who's tuned in to watch me knows that I don't stop. I was on vacation. You guys saw me. Uh, I'm doing two shows back to back, man. I was, I was literally here 45 minutes, and I went and dropped off Parker before I came here as well. Too the production staff was still turning the lights off. We weren't even done yet. I was like, hey, here, come on. Um, Emperor Valerie, are you involved in any of the mobile games? If not, would you ever consider it? Uh, yeah, so first and foremost, Empire is absolutely our priority. We're only uh, a year and a half into this. We have two years of features that we want to get out. We know our players have been patiently waiting for some really great features we want to launch, and we are promising you they are coming. Uh, future games, uh, can't spill the beans, but we are definitely moving forward with some other great ideas. So, uh, I'm always waiting for those well put together joystick and game, and I still think you need a media house to do it, but no. Uh, uh, just, uh, just plug it, just uh, shameless plug. I'm just gonna keep you in the fucking cage. Okay, fine, shut the fuck up, you win. Uh, Thanks for joining, tune in. Right. Uh, BG Mark, uh, what are some short and long term goals ahead of uh, yeah, for sure. Um, we hear the law, late players loud and clear. We want to add more quests, more stories, really develop those characters. Uh, the Enterprise feature that we got in there is just the baby steps to uh, what we think is going to be one of the best features for the game. Uh, the reason we say that is it not only allows you to uh, work with your friends and collaborate in a positive way, but actually accomplish things together, and I think that speaks to the community. So that's, that's the we'll see. You, know, you get like a little team together. Maybe. We'll try, I'm sure we'll talk more about it. Yep. You get a little team together, basically your little network, your group there. You can trade products back and forth. To some degree with each other, help each other out. Support. That's already in place. Uh, so the next step is now what can we do as a team to move forward in the game and uh, without giving away too much? It's, it's in the pipeline. Well, I, I will be looking at it and stuff. I haven't got, I admit, I haven't got a lot of the enterprise because of the fact that. I'd be a shitty fucking teammate right now because of the fact I'm so busy, right? I'm in and out. I'm very sporadic and shit. So, so it's tough to get to the point where, where like, I want people committing to me and being involved with that hardcore. But, uh, you know, being able to exchange products, I think that's great. Being able to give each other money or something like that, if you can be able to help out with that, or, you know, just like trade the in app things like the diamonds and yep. some of these other credits and licenses. Well, I think that, I think it's, it's beautiful. I, I think it would help you know, further the game and people's quests and make it really speed up in the process as well, too. Well, and we always talk about community. So, we say that this is all about supporting community, about bringing people together. Like, you're just playing a game by yourself, where's the community in the way? And well, so the Canada's community, community has always been really tight together, and they spend a lot of time helping and supporting each other, that makes sense. Plus, I like how you can go sell the stuff in the dispensaries and the stores and stuff, but it'd be good to sometimes be like, hey, Someone who needs it, you know, so that's a very cool feature. Uh, we'll talk more about obviously some of the tech stuff with some of the other guys that have to come in. Uh, what else? Oh, Emperor Laura, which car from the game is your favorite? So, first, big shout out to Laura. Laura has been one of our most dedicated and supportive uh, players. Uh, you can't see it in this screen, but the room we're in the arcade is literally adorned by fan art, and half of it is from her. Uh, hold on, camera spin, camera spin. Uh, let's show Laura some love. Oh, we need to go the other way. Can we do full blue? Oh, Joe. <laughs> Joe's on TV. What's <laughs> up? So Laura is like all of this stuff. All this arts and crafts, that's all Laura. So shut up. And I know she's always thinking of us. She's always... Um, She's just an amazing woman. She even came up here and donated her time uh, at our 420 one year anniversary. So 
Back to her question, what is my favorite car? Uh, I am a fan of the classics, the old cars. There's an oldie in there. No, it's not a specific model because of copyrights. Right. Um, but I am biased because I've got a 1972 Chevelle SS at home and it is orange and you might have seen it in the intro of the game. Maybe, maybe not. I can't confirm. Nor did I. That might be it. Uh, do you, uh, Hugh Hefner, uh, another question, uh, do you genuinely have Permagrin because being the CBO of a such top-notch game and a group of people, is that awesome, or did you sample a few goods in the green room, or a bit of both, and that, like, is not playing, no. Because <laughs> your people are so uh, awesome, is that what, right, that works here, no. So as I say that, I got a freaking Permagrin on my face. Uh, short answer. not about that, really, I mean, um, short answer. Plead the fifth on some of it. The second part of it is, uh, if you come to this place every day at LBC and you see the, the Hemp Ladies and the team and the vibe around us, it's impossible not to be here. Uh, and then Emperor Roses for Vita, uh, do you, Hempire, have a stock market where one can purchase shares? I wish I knew you three years ago. No, <laughs> short answer. <laughs> uh, no, we're privately funded, unfortunately. Well, fortunately, if you're doing okay, and hopefully they're doing okay, Okay, and they're happy with the funds that they've been uh, It's much easier when you already launched and you're successful. When you're starting with a piece of paper, it's tough. Yeah, I know. I'm a widget. I don't even have a product that people can get. I'm just going to, look, I'm awesome. I swear. No, I'm really good. Just trust me. Watch. Let's see. The um, story's pretty similar. <laughs> right? But uh, you have, you, you've had a bunch of people who decided that you know he's right. It is kind of awesome. And there's a bunch of them right out, right out, right out here, sort of. Round. They're sort of, of course, more just off to the camera one way and the other. Of course, it's the angle of that shot that's particularly indicative. As long as they're having fun, that's all that right. Uh, we honestly, our guys have busted their butt for the past few months as we transitioned this office to new to us. They've just an opportunity to open the doors to friends and family and you know, back and relax as well as very nice. Uh, I got uh, I got a couple questions here, so for some other people as well. We're going to talk to the uh, the lead game designer as well too. We talk to Jamie a little bit. A couple general questions, but I also hear there's a there's a prize draw and, uh, and a cake potentially in some. Can you go grab that uh, truck out of my office? Oh, yeah, I, yeah, God, yeah. Sorry, I got to do one shout out. I know we're running on a schedule. Right, Hold we're on, we're good, we're good. I want to wish. Yes, so. No man, this is dope. You, you should be proud of what you've done, man. I don't think the game's cool. Like I played it before, I knew who you guys were, and then once I found out that someone knew how to get hold of you, I was like, hey, I play that game. Let's give those guys a show. And look where we are now. Look where we are now. Uh, okay, so this is a new show. This is uh, talking about the love from our players. Um, so this is a diehard player that uh, showed up today. Was invited by a hemp lady. Going to shamelessly show this off. They brought us a hempire truck. Take a look at the back. Fully loaded with pre-rolls, gummy candies. Take a look at that driver. Can we get that driver in there? Yep. It's a little bit. There you go. A little blurry. It's a little tough. Oh, let's do a side side window maybe. Here, other side. You explain. I'll hold for a sec. So, long story short, um, having players that are so dedicated that they're going to pre-roll our joints for us uh, <laughs> in a truck with little flower people smoking nukes is just mind blowing. Dude. Thank you. Uh, so shout out, shout out to Cannabismo for putting this together. <laughs> All right, doing it, making it happen. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. And give me a shout sometimes. Yeah, good. You can bring me a truck full of weed, <laughs> but like an actual truck full of weed. <laughs> Uh, so you're bringing in Joe? Yeah, I think Joe's up next, but there's also supposed to be a cake cutting from what I was told first, but... Oh, I'll see you with Jamie. She said something about... Yeah. Hey, there's Vito in the store. Oh, no! And B, I think we're supposed to have a cake and some prizes. Is that yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, what? So, so hang on. Well, well, hang on. So then, thanks all. We appreciate you being here. Now go enjoy the rest of the party. Jamie's got work to do. Thank you. Okay. Anything and thank you to everyone else? that's watching. Every player. Keep growing your empire. You guys are awesome. And, uh... I know Joe's up next, but I'm going to give him a big thank you online as well. That guy has been with us since day one. I love it. Sorry, sorry. Day Employee number one. <laughs> since, since day three. Yeah, whatever it is. The poor guy got sent to Brazil for a year. Oh, Jesus.